lions and shooting a woman. Put him away for 150 years. Send him to Guantanamo with his filthy lawyer. Oh, don't get me started. That's why I don't talk to people. That's why I try to do inspiration today. I try to stick to the positive. It didn't last too long. It lasted two hours and 40 minutes, which is actually a world record for me. 240, I went 240, around 239, I went without blowing a stack. But okay, here we are, coming into the last 20 minutes. Let's go to the callers in Oregon, no less. Oh, what a sad state that is. It used to be great, beautiful, till Oregon was infested by San Franciscans who fled in the 70s. They uh, fled in their B-1 Volvos, and they polluted Portland. They ruined the whole state. They ruined the whole state. They fled San Francisco, and they polluted Oregon. It used to be a clean, beautiful state. They ruined Oregon. They ruined Washington with their idiotic progressive values. What values are those? Oh, do I have to spell them out for you? I did already when I told you about the National Endowment for the Arts and the kind of things that they're funding. That's their values. Sadomasochism, perversion. That's the values of the left. Varvara, K. Eugene, welcome to the Savage Nation. What's on your mind? I wanted to tell you thank you so much for writing this book. I went to a couple of Walmarts and was able to purchase nine copies. One stays with me and the other eight for my siblings. There's 11 of us. And the rest listen to you. But this is like the best Christmas gift I think that I've ever purchased. All right, look, of course I want to hear that. That somebody went out and bought nine copies of my book. Of course I want to hear it. I want the message of Michael Savage to get out, get out to the world before the elections in 2016. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I thank you so much, Farver. I'll give you a tenth copy for free right now on the Savage Nation. Someone asked on Facebook, does he really give them out or is he a cheapskate? Yeah, I give them out. I've given out hundreds and hundreds of free books on this show since the book uh, was published. Stay on the line, Varver, and thank you very much for your support. I have a friend who's a former college professor who's a Ph.D. in mathematics and physics. He's a very bright man. And I'm not saying that he said this to me because he wanted me to hear it. He read my book, Government Zero, and he calls me every once in a while because he has, he's actually reading it. He said, you know, Michael, I was really not that clear on the issues of global warming. I didn't really know what to think. He said, I read your chapter on zero science. He said, it's written, written like a Ph.D. thesis. He said, I couldn't believe what you put into this book. How did you do this? How did you make it so believable and, or, excuse me, understandable for the average person out there? He said, it's written like for a Ph.D. student, but for the average person. Well, I included the facts that you need to know about zero science. I talked about Lysenkoism. I made a comparison to the ex-Soviet Union, where under Stalin people were forbidden to believe that genes exist, just like people in Obama's America are forbidden to believe that man-made climate change doesn't exist. And I said that Marxists have to stamp out the truth or no one would tolerate their rule. And that's why Stalin needed a fake scientist to push Lysenkoism in the USSR and why Obama needs fake scientists to push global warming in the USS of A. And I, I explain that. That's my taking off point for those of you out there who actually read. Purging scientists who descend, how real science works. Global warming and cooling are natural. Inconvenient research, the Vostok ice core samples. Where's the warming? This is for all of the pimply-faced children who work for Mark Zuckerberg. You may want to read that chapter if you think you know everything. You may find out that you're nothing but, let us say, red guards. Red guards, that's all you become. I'll be back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O. Hot Talk 560, KSFO. MSM continues to lie about so many things that used to be known as the mainstream media. It's now known as the Muslim stream media, the MSM, the Muslim stream media, still covering up the shootings in San Bernardino, still covering up the failures of the DHS chief, Jay Johnson, who has not been fired by the snake. Why has there been no racial profiling introduced in the DHS to help prevent the next jihad in the U.S.? Why aren't the mosques that these two animals went to being investigated for the next wave of jihadists? Why has CARE not been closed down for covering up this slaughter and blaming America? Where is the 
outrage for what happened in San Bernardino. Where is the third shooter? Every eyewitness stated in the beginning there were three shooters. That's been buried up by the Muslim stream media. So the, the, I just found notes, by the way. I was cleaning out my desk during the break. And those are some of the notes that were left over. But okay, well, we're, we're way past that. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Shopping time is here upon us. I got to go shopping. I got to buy people something. I don't know. I haven't bought anyone anything. I really have bought like one or two little things. I bought Teddy a, a new uh, raincoat for the, for the El Nino. He likes it. Don't think dogs don't know. They know gifts. I showed it to him. I said, look how, look at it. It's all blue. Yeah, all right, I like it. I, I like it. Big deal. But it costs you 50 bucks. I'm worth it. What do you think? I'm not worth it. All the pleasure I give you. You ought to be thankful that's all I cost you. I didn't ask for any diamond rings. No trips to Hawaii with the president. I'm a cheap date, Mike. You know, big deal. You bought me a raincoat. <laughs> I have imaginary conversations with my dog. What are you going to do? You get zany after a number of years. You know, after 10 years with a dog, that's a long time. You sometimes think you're going crazy because they don't answer you. But you know they understand a lot of what you say, right? They do understand. Did they understand it? it nah, it's called anthropomorphism. To liberals, a dog doesn't even exist. To a true progressive, they think that they're just uh, pure, pure reactions of uh, nerves, muscle, tissue, that there's no actual spirit inside the animal. Well, I'm going to end the show by saying to you they're wrong. As I began the show and didn't finish the thought, maybe I'll do it Monday with God's will. I wanted to talk about the Inuits, the native peoples of the Arctic, before the white man came.